Welcome back to Brick by Brick. I'm your host, Adam Ward. Today, we've got a super special show and a first time for Brick by Brick and a first time for my whole life because I've designed an app for you. It's a little bit different than some of your apps. It's more of an analog app, but it is a change machine. And when I say change machine, I don't mean that it helps you turn this into four quarters. I mean, this machine helps you create change in your life. Friends of Brick by Brick, I present to you, for the first time ever, the iCan. iCan! The iCan helps you bring a change into your life. So what you do is you think of a change you want to make. Maybe you want to wake up earlier or drink more water, or you want to give high fives to strangers. Whatever it is, each day you're successful in your new practice, you turn the handle a little bit and the eye can reveals the special color of the day. At the end of the week, seven consecutive days of your new practice, the eye can rewards you with a teeny tiny hundred dollar bill. Because change can be hard, but I think with things like the eye can, we can make change in our lives. We can, you can, I can. You wanna build one? Let's go. I know, a lot of Technic pieces, but hang in there, it'll all make sense. First up are 1x4 and 1x2 Technic pins. They act as the skeleton to the mechanism. A 1x3 Technic axle connector serves as the handle. Technic washers keep our Technic pins in place. The eight tooth gear allows our crank to move the arm. Our 1x2 Technic bricks help our mechanism to go from the inside to the outside. The 1x4 gear racks paired with the eight tooth gear create the movement. Our 1x1 wedge keeps our arm from falling off. A 1x2 panel ensures our pins don't slip. And finally, assorted tiles act as our daily reminders and smooth any bumps in our way. To see a complete list of every single piece in this build, check out the video description. Ready to get building? Let's do it. Like all the builds, we start at the base. So the eye can is six across but it's 17 long. And I know odd numbers, they're not that fun in Lego, but it's all good. So we take two six by six plates, a couple two by threes, and a one by six. And that's the base. And then to hold all these things together, we've got some one by tens and some one by sixes. And then this little guy. So our one by 10 goes on one side and our one by 10 goes on the other side. And what's cool about using these nice long pieces is look, they lock all of those pieces together. We'll put our one by sixes on the back end. And then we don't go all the way around. We leave an opening for our daily color reminder slash hundred dollar bill dropper to come in and out. Put down some tiles for those to slide across. I'll put a one by eight, two of them right in the center, leaving four here and four here and then use my two by fours to go right on top. The next step is to put bricks all the way around the edge of our eye can, except the one opening where our wonderful daily reminder is gonna slide in and out. I don't know if you're thinking about a change you can do, something to keep in mind is sometimes even a small change can be challenging. So instead of trying to bring like five different changes in all at once, I wanna eat healthier and have less sugar and do more exercise and wear more hats. It might be hard to do all of those changes simultaneously. So I think it's nice to bring in change slowly. You know, maybe just drinking a couple cups of water a day. It's not so hard. Our base is off to a great start. But before we go any further, let's build that arm with the colorful bars on it. The bar is two by 16, and it comes together just like this. We've got eight in the back, and then we're gonna skip two, because remember, our $100 bill's gotta fit in somewhere. And we've got six in the front. We're gonna put two by three on the back, two by three on the back to get to six, and put our one by tens on, and join these over here. So now we've got two by 16 with an opening eight from one side and six from the other side. Now on top, we're gonna bring in all those colors. Now you can use whatever colors you want. You could do like karate belt style, white, yellow, green, whatever comes next. Pretty sure it ends in black. 
you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven for the seven days of the week. And then we've got these really cool pieces. These are one by four gear racks. You don't see them in a ton of builds, but they're awesome. I mean, they could be like angry teeth. Uh, in this build, they're not angry teeth. They're actually for our gear to spin in and roll the arm out and then roll the arm back in. The last thing that the top needs is this. This is a one by one wedge and it goes at the end of the gear racks to keep our arm from going all the way out and falling and disappearing or breaking or just kind of making a headache. So when we put this on the back of it, it's gonna keep our arm locked in because that is gonna hit the gear and the gear is gonna be like, nah dude, you can't go any farther. Okay, now we're gonna look at the bottom of this colorful arm. We still have that two by two opening. We're going to squeeze in these one by one round plates. Now the reason we use round instead of square is round help our $100 bill fall out nice and easy. Where square, they wanna hold on to it. Sometimes you roll it out, it's your seventh day, you're ready to celebrate and your eye can all of a sudden get stingy on you. The next move is to keep that arm in place. You've got a one by three, a one by four, and a two by eight. So the two by eight goes right down in the center. The one by three on the front side, there we go. The one by four on the back side. Now that arm's got nowhere else to go but in and out. Now it's time to build the rest of the mechanism. So this uses a bunch of Technic pieces. We've got a couple rods, some that are too long, some that are four long. That eight tooth gear, which is just great. And this is the piece that rolls across our gear axe. Isn't that cool? Also got part of our handle then a couple plates and then a panel. So what you wanna to do to start, is you wanna make sure that the position is just right. Cause you want your arm to go out to the seventh day where you can drop your hundred dollar bill. You don't want it to go any further. You don't want it to stop like there. So we wanna count eight before we put in our first bricks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After the eighth brick, boom. You can put down our first Technic one by two. Then we put a plate right across and put another one by two Technic piece in. Terrific. And behind that one by two Technic piece, we have our panel. This is gonna help keep our Technic pin exactly where we want it. Speaking of Technic pins, we're gonna grab one of our small ones. This is two bricks long. And we're gonna put this little washer on the end. Then it might actually be helpful to take that back off. Put that right in there. Excellent. Now, our eight tooth gear is gonna slide on the front side. And then from the other end, we bring our longer four Technic pin and slide that in. But before we do that, we're gonna put in one more piece just to keep it from sliding around. Boop. There we go. And I see that how that panel is keeping it from going any farther back. And we can start turning it. Now we see that piece move, that's no good. So we got this two by two plate Put that right on top and once that piece is stabilized now we've got great cranking action and don't worry about going out too far remember we have this one by one wedge right in the back that's going to keep us from losing our arm now the internal mechanism is complete we have a couple more pieces and these are going to be on the outside we're going to build the crank that we move so the first piece to add is this gray pin connector I'm going to slide that on nice and easy and to make sure it stays on we're gonna add this little yellow piece on the end, just like that. Then we're gonna take our little one by two pin and put that right in there too. Let's give it a couple cranks. That does it for the mechanism. What we're gonna do next is fill in the rest of this layer with bricks. So our right side is basically too thick all the way. I'm gonna cover in the back and keep it going come up this side it's only one deep on this side because we got to keep room for that panel let's keep it our pin in place now we've got that one opening left now we can't just put a brick down because if we just put a brick down it'll get in the way of our arm coming in and out so we use three plates we put a one by two on top of another one by two and on top of that whole number we put a two by two snap that into place we can even give it a little test Make sure we can get to that seventh day, get our money drop. 
for the top, we start on both sides with a couple six by six plates. One on the right side, one on the left side. Then on the right side, if you've got a one by six, you can use it. I'm using two one by threes. Then in the middle, we've got a couple of our one by sixes. Last little piece that's open, we cover up using our two by three. Now you'll see that even when the top is done, the gear is still visible. I think that's a pretty cool effect. You can kind of see the gear at work. So the next step is to add the letters. Now the letters are super basic and if you don't want to write I can on it, if you want to write something else, you totally can. It's even in the name, but here's what I'm going to write. And when you're doing your letters, you want to make sure that you have at least one space between. I can fits pretty nicely with a single space. Goes up there. And we're almost finished. So if you haven't thought of a change that you want to bring into the world that you'd like to make for yourself, now's a pretty good time. What will it be? It's going to be for you, for your health, for your community, your family, for your fun. I can is now complete. Perhaps the world's first analog Lego app. Ha! I said I was complete and it doesn't even have the hundred dollar bill inside of it yet. I must be losing it. Hundred dollar bill is right in our space, nestled up next to our one by one little round guys. You can see them peeking out. Let's see. Day one. We did it. Day two. Day three. Day four. Day five. Day six. Day seven. Money time. You deserve a hundred dollar bill. You deserve way more than that. Thank you so much for building along. I'd love to hear what the change is that you want to make in the world. I'd love to hear your progress. Are you cranking it all the way? You getting to seven? Are you getting that hundred dollar bill? If you are, amazing. And if you're not getting it in your first week or second week or third week, be kind to yourself. Change can be tricky and it can be a step-by-step -step process, but I believe that in time, you will make the change that you wanna see in this world. It's been amazing. I will see you next time. About to hit the street with the I can and see what changes people wanna make and see if they'll settle for a tiny $100 bill. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for building along. Thanks for watching. Thank you for being you. I will see you next time. Peace. Whoa, 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 what's that you say? You want more Brick by Brick? Not a problem, friends. All you gotta do is click one of these two videos right here. It's that easy. And don't forget to subscribe to Soul Pancake.